Oh. I'm sorry, are you addressing me? Because your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. <laughs> Welcome to New Music Saturday, hashtag NMS. We're starting late like normal, but that happens. So welcome. That's myself, Dr. Bones, and my partner in crime, the guitarist, everybody wish they were, Mike Five. What's happening, Mike? Good evening. I'm having a lovely time. We've had uh, some wonderful experiences with Skype so far this evening. Um, and also I was late because I was watching an episode of Vikings and it went on longer than I thought it would. <laughs> So, Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. No, but tonight we have a special guest uh, joining us for a second time. It's just been over a year since we last talked in live. So, welcome Martin Abrams, aka Dylan T. What's happening? Hey, hello. So, man, nice to be here. Nice to speak to you again. Go on. Oh, man. First off, so you played a gig last night with your new band. So, tell us about that. First off, let's start off with that. Uh, it was just a great load of fun. It was, it, it was, but I, I, I've never really done covers until last night, so I broke my covers cherry last night, but they're all <laughs> covers that I love very much, and they're all part of a new exciting project, and um, I just just had the best time, it was really good fun, people were, you know, up, dancing, uh, it was great, really, really good gig. Right on, well, you know what, I was just curious because, I mean, obviously I emailed you just the other day, and it was kind of just perfect timing, when you said, also, oh, go, that's perfect, I got a, I got a gig on, on Friday, they'll do this on Saturday, I said, oh, this is awesome, so, yeah. um, is this, to me, uh, the side project, is, gonna, is this going to strictly be covers, or are you going to kind of venture off in different stuff as well? Is this the interview section? <laughs> because if it is, there's a whole story behind it. No, it's it's no, I'm dropping in some of my stuff as well. But um, this is this is all part of an. One of my favourite word, words in the world is organic. This is all part of an organic trail that I'm on. So um, no, it's not all covers. I, I you know, it's very much um, a, a project sort of close to my heart. So. Um, yeah, and it's all to do with it. You know, it's a furtherance. It's a, it's a. That's a big word, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, it, it, it's come on from, from, um, from the original kind of Dylan T. Rock stuff. So it's, it's, um, it's where I'm at now, really, and where I'm going. So yeah. Right on. Well, yeah. I mean, this, this is going to kind of be a mix of stuff. So like a little bit of interview, a little bit of review, and you know, a little, little bit of fun uh, banter and some sidetracks as well, because that that always happens. That's a without fail sort of thing. So. <laughs> it it's uh it mm, it's it's oh, it's very much it's stuff that I I've been into for a long time. It's it's my musical heritage is what I'm doing. So the you know the um, the Dylan T Rocks um 
thing, if you want, was a you know was was, was a dream come true for me. I mean that you know um, with with um, Mono and Gaz and everything that that was such, that was just such. Uh, it was a powerful thing. It was a very powerful entity, but it, it kind of like had its day and, and like at the end of it, it I, and I was just like, well, you know, do I want to do that again? No, because that's what it was with those guys. And there's, I think, if, you know, when you play music, there's so much more to you than that, you know, so much more than one string to your bow, you know, yeah. and, and um, it was time for me to experiment with instead of being on number 10, or 11 all the time to just come back to six or seven, five occasionally, you know, whatever. And, and, and just explore the dynamics of, of, um, where I come from musically. Right. And so I, um, I kind of like just started writing in all different, you know, every, everything that I come from, all the different genres that I, that I'm really interested in. Right. I just started just sitting down with a guitar and just being me. You know, and you know yourself. I've sent you many different styles of oh, yeah, tracks over the last year or so. So, and and so, what's happened now is there's like a culmination of that, or, or the fruition of that, um, is that you know I'm now sort of like going out um, and gigging in, in a new guise. You know, same hat, right? <laughs> <laughs> same hat with the feather. In it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's but, <laughs> <laughs> different jeans and shoes but, and, but, but the, the, the infamous hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah so all that's going on but still you know the thing of what it's all about is, is is making music and and trying to kind of you know having fun obviously you, you know on a personal level but but you know feeling like you're 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 trying to make some contribution to you know life <laughs> it made some some contribution to you know to to life yeah oh, i'm no. profound tonight sorry about that no, no all good no fair enough um i just want to jump back one second then i'll pass things over to mike and let him ask a few questions here now when you say going from like 11 to 7 or or 5 or 6 what, what was that by yeah. chance a spinal tap reference because of the 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 the, the amp where he parts 11 because because his goes up to 11 but he he he'd painted an 11 on his amp spinal tap what the movie spinal, the spinal tap? tap yeah i don't a spinal tap was that like you, some sort of like medical procedure is it have you have you, have you ever <laughs> no, seen I, I was going to say, is like, oh, come no, on, please not. tell it's me. A, it, yeah, it is. It's a total spinal tap. Yeah, I was going to say, you would have all people I thought definitely would have seen it. That's like, like spinal tap. I was like, wait, wait, what? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, you, you did. You did have me going, though. <laughs> you actually did have I, me going. I, that's, a, that's a metaphor for life, isn't it? You know, we can't live it all on number 11. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Yeah, oh, we can try. Uh, and, we're the Unless we're Keith Richards, we yeah, can't right. live it all on that. <laughs> yeah, but then I said that about Lemmy, and life hasn't been the same since. So, yeah. Oh God, yeah. <clears throat> oh dear. So, um, I, I was going to ask you about um, about the transition from from Dylan T Rocks to Dylan T, but actually, I'm kind of more tempted to ask you about where the hat came from and, and what we're doing. That charity shop. <laughs> I mean spiritually why that hat what, what did it choose you did you choose it? it's like a guitar in it it's like it's part of you now so what, what's the deal with it yeah it chose me but it did it came from a charity shop I just wandered in I, I just wandered into a charity shop and um, with the missus of course and I I can picture it now being in the shop and it it actually had you know um uh, Crocodile Dundee that fella yeah. you know it had yeah, it's a crocodile dundee hat. <laughs> okay, it it had shark's teeth around it, and it's made in Australia. Oh no way! And no, yeah, it's a proper crocodile dundee <laughs> hat, and I've and uh, I just saw it, and I put it on, and it actually fit. Okay, so <laughs> like perfectly, it didn't feel. Like, and I've had a lot of experience with hats lately, getting one together for my um, uh, wedding. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, <laughs> so I've been trying on a lot of hats lately. They yeah. don't all fit. 
some of them feel like you've put a bowl of custard on your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just, it just kind of it just kind of sits there like what? But to actually put a hat on and feel like you're wearing it, it's it's quite an experience. So I put that hat on and it really felt like I was wearing it. And so I took the the whatever they were, little plastic teeth off and then stuck a bandana around it and put a um uh, a peacock feather in it and and Dylan T. Rocks was born. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. But it's actually yeah, it's a proper it's a proper good quality hat. It, it, so, I mean it really is. So uh, NMS we're we're all about solving problems and helping people out as well as playing great music and, and I feel like I've got oh, a, I sound like I've got problems. <laughs> no 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 I, I, I feel like we've come across a solution to your I mean a little bit. I feel like we've come across a solution to your wedding hat problem, which is surely just wear the hat. No, 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 I went and bought a proper a wedding. Yeah. I have a hat if it's no, the thing about doing a wedding is that you've got to be three or four minutes on that hat so far. It must be pretty special. I would wear that to the wedding. No, I'm wearing special socks and pants. <laughs> but but, but right. um, everything else would be very conventional and, and on it. Uh, no, no, it's a wedding. You don't, I'm going to a wedding fair tomorrow that I've been conned into. This is what happens when you start to when you're going to get married, right? They start telling. They start to already mould you. Julie's already started saying, uh, "The wedding fair. What wedding fair?" We're going to a wedding fair tomorrow. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, you said we could go to... No, I didn't. <laughs> You're telling lies, Julia. No, I'm not. You said you were going to a wedding fair. And now she's convinced me that I am going to a wedding <laughs> fair and that I said I would. Yeah. And quite frankly, I don't know if I said I would or not, but I'm going. I mean, to be honest with you, for the, for the sake of your marriage, just say that you said it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. No, no, yeah. it's, it's way too perilous. <laughs> yeah, but we've compromised. We're only going for half an hour. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you, 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 you keep telling yourself that half hour, right? Yeah. 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 I'm half an hour, I don't think. Two hours yeah. later. <laughs> so for those that don't know um or may not know you're in a band called dylan t-rocks fantastic yeah. band we played with you that was a good night actually um did our stuff and then uh, recorded with bernie Tormé, uh and then for one reason or another went your separate ways about yeah. what about a year ago about that yeah. long so i Tell us about life after that, then, generally. Um, well, I, I just, you know, took a step back and thought, you know, I don't want to... That's what it was. I can't replace those guys and, and, and redo that. You know, uh, do I want to do it better? I'll have to go and, you know, it take me another 10 years to find... It was a special thing, Dylan T. Rocks, with a, a very special chemistry on stage. And, um, it, you know, a powerful force and all that. And, and that's... Almost, you know, I'm, I'm not very precious about any, but it was a precious thing. So leave it, let it be what it was. And so, you know, I took a step back, looked into really my heritage and, and, and you know, and started writing all these different songs from, from coming from different places and, and different genres of music and, um, and just started to really incorporate my whole eclectic, listening um thing into my into my writing and, and and come up with all this stuff and then so what happened was uh some time passed and i thought you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do like an album with this and uh i don't know how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna crowdfund it whatever i'm gonna do but i'm just gonna do an album with this so i rang up a friend of mine frankie dan what a great name is that <laughs> and, uh, Frankie Dan and I grew up together and uh, I just he's a great drummer and uh, he, he's also very so I phoned him up and said Frankie uh, let's, let's go and do some playing man I just want to explore a few things da 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 da, da. and he went yeah great but uh, I, I'm making an album with John Bentley at the moment you know John, uh, John Bentley was in uh, Squeeze with Jules Holland and all that lot Oh, nice. Brent, Brent yeah. So Frankie's uh, just made an album with 
him with John Bentley and uh, he's sort of like busy doing all that but he said but come down and uh, play a few tunes with my band just come and do it